Hello everyone, today we're going to do just a really quick video taking a look at soft goods and utilizing curtains, borders, teasers, and all that in your Vectorworks drawings. So let's go ahead and jump right in actually with a couple of examples. We have this little set that we've been playing with in different tutorials uh, just to kind of um, serve as a placeholder for sets in general. So we have that dropped into both the black box space and into a proscenium space. So if we were going to take a look at this and start adding curtains to it, what you'd want to do is go down to your event design tool set. And then this right here is your soft goods tool. It's super easy to use. With that selected, basically you just start there and you click and you can... Put your curtains wherever you like. When you double click, that will end the curtain. So I'll grab that again and I'll run just a straight curtain from there to there. Now, as you're looking at it, it's a little funky, right? Go up to Object Info now and you'll see up here exactly what we have. So this is right now listed as a border. That would want to be a curtain. We want to make sure it's 13 foot high because it's that's the height of the grid in this space. And you can go in here in your object info and you can start tweaking it. You can also make it so the default is that these curtains have a, a fullness to them. You'll see kind of the wave there. You can change that. If you click simple 3D this little box here, that'll just make it a flat curtain. And if we jump overhead, you'll see here it still has that little squiggly line, which denotes that that is a curtain. You can click Simple 2D and that'll just give you a straight line. I usually like to keep that off simply so that I know that that's a curtain, even if it doesn't have fullness. So you can get in here and you can start changing all of those little things over here. You can get in on your 3D options and you can change the color. Maybe we have red curtains. And you can play with all the different attributes to it. The other way to get in and do that is to actually adjust a lot of your settings before you draw out your curtains. So, with my curtain tool selected, I can go up here to my preferences. Just click that. And from here on out, everything I want to be drawing will be a curtain. And we want it to be 13 foot high. And I'm not going to mess with too much of this. I'll leave all that for now. But there's a ton of things you can do. You could add in grommets or ties or pipe at the bottom. So for now, that's good enough. I'll click OK. And then I can draw in my curtain just like that. Now we can do a border as well if we wanted to. So let's go back into my preferences and this time let's do a border. And I want this to be a three foot border. And let's go ahead and run that. So we'll run that right there, we'll say. Now we'll take a look at it. It's going to be a little funky because it's sitting on the ground right now. So over here in Object Info, if you look at it, it'll tell you what it's measuring three feet from. It's measuring three foot from the bottom. We can change that to measure three foot from the top. And then all we have to do is set our top height, which is, again, 13 foot in this space. And now that'll ride right there. So if we were to get rid of some of these walls, take a look there's your curtains super easy to use let's take a look at our proscenium space now one of the first things you might want to actually do before you start laying in your curtains is take a look at your sight lines so from in here i just grab a line and i'll start drawing in sight lines Just like that. So that we know what folks are going to be seeing into. 
and I'll grab all four of those. And you can make them their own class so that you can toggle those on and off. For the sake of right now, I will just make them a dashed line and I'll make them red so that they stand out a little bit better. So there we see our sight lines, right? We know where folks are going to be seeing. So we can use that to help dictate where we put our curtains. So for this one, we know that these curtains are 21 foot. That is the height of this space. So I'll come in here and I will curtain to just right there. And over here, take it off the front there. I can maybe do that and then just bring it down there to catch that. And maybe we want a little something behind this door so that we're not seeing anything out through that door when it opens. So those are our curtains. However, you'll notice they are in relation to the ground as opposed to being three foot up on the stage. So what I would probably do in an instance like that, I would grab all three of these and I would add them to another layer. And I would, uh, I would just call that layer soft goods. Now, what we need to do is make our soft goods layer three foot higher so that it sits on the stage. So we just go into here, we double click on this little stack, and you'll see all your options in here. Your soft goods right at the top. Elevation. I want the elevation to be three foot so that it's at deck height as opposed to uh, the, the level of the floor. Okay. And now, everything that was in our soft goods layer is now in relation to the top of the stage, as opposed to down here on the floor of the auditorium. Let's go ahead and turn off some of these, just so that we can see it a little bit better. There we go. And of course, we would want a border on this as well. But that's how you go about starting to play with soft goods. I encourage you just to get in and start playing with them. There's a ton of different options once you get in there and start playing around. So have fun with that. Go out, make cool stuff. We will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.